fam two shots in the morning two shots in the night is not <laughs> it's not a dozy fam welcome back to the channel it's your average nigerian girl ada if you're new here you're very much welcome join the family by subscribing Put that red button down there just press it and join our family and remember to turn on the notification bell that thing that looks like bell down there turn it on so that whenever i post content you'll be able to get it i make lifestyle and health and recently by life motherhood videos okay and if you're a returning subscriber you're the real mvp you know now my village person welcome back again so today i'm going to be talking about herbal medication and supplements this is something that we are used to in nigeria if you go to a park you'll be hearing about one cleanse one thing that is to wash your blood and cleanse your blood or something if you enter buses they sell some you cannot say you've not heard about herbal medications and then supplements are also coming up in nigeria people are beginning to take a lot of it so let's actually talk about this let's just go straight into talking about it so straight into the video okay let me start with herbal medications it is a no 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 there's a reason why okay i'm going to be giving you reasons why for doctors herbal medication is a no but i had to write it down so that i will not just ramble because when it comes to this matter i can talk forever okay number one reason why is a no is that there's no dosage fam two shots in the morning two shots in the night is not <laughs> it's not a dosage okay it's not at all and see but every drug is a poison in the right dose including the simple paracetamol you can poison somebody with paracetamol very simple paracetamol that everybody takes over the counter with the right dosage overdose is bad underdose is bad so you have to take the right dosage for your age and a lot if not all of these herbal medications doesn't really have any dose again i say two shots in the morning and two shots at night is not dosage okay that's number one reason why we don't advise herbal medications and it can finish your kidney because of wrong dosage all right if you've not seen my tips on um avoiding dialysis um video i'll link it in the description um, box so that you can check it out i also put it in the cards so that you can check it check the cards is that thing that appears up here mm -hmm. so i'll put it up there so that you can check it out i dropped a lot of tips there number two what is the active ingredient nobody knows right <laughs> you tell me it was handed down from your father's I don't have a problem with it being handed down from the fathers. That's fine. But technology has made it such a way that you can actually separate the active ingredients if you are interested in doing the right thing. Because the truth is, if you talk to people in the pharmacists, pharmacy companies, is that, is that what it's called? Pharmaceutical, uh -huh, yeah, that's the right English. Pharmaceutical companies, they'll tell you that one plant can have a lot of active ingredients in it and then they have to take it and separate it okay so you can get one plant that has drug for hypertension drug for diabetes this is a very this is like an example so don't take it literally drug for cancer drug for all together and drug is not food all these drugs have their side effects you now mash it together and give it to somebody that has hypertension the thing for example will now bring down the person's uh, sugar harm the person's body cell do this one do that one in the end are you really helping the person a lot of our herbal medication people don't want to go through the process of separating these things and making it something that can be acceptable so until then we don't know what is inside this drug that is doing this thing that you said is doing so it's still a no number three that's the one, <laughs> that's the one that i don't understand one one drug cures hypertension diabetes cancer ulcer staphorus which by the way it is suffer is a normal bacteria found on your skin of course if it gets into different parts of your body it becomes a problem but trust me it does not cause pile it does not cause all those things that this you hear in the market okay one drug cannot kill all those things how about now the way <laughs> the way hypertension affects the body is not the way diabetes affects the body 
It's not the way ulcer works. So how can one medicine now cure all of these things? You said, think about it now. It's not possible. It's, it's just a lie. Okay? It's just a lie. <laughs> so that's why it is a no-no. Number four, these drugs have not been tested to, for us to be sure that it is safe for humans. The way um, drugs actually work, before we start giving patients drugs, right? Um... These drugs go through what we call clinical trials. Trials. Oh my god, English. Clinic hey. Clinical trials. These drugs go through clinical trials. That means they are tested on animals and if it is safe, they are now tested on human beings. And then even after they've been rolled into the market, there's room for surveillance. We call it pharmacovigilance, right? It means that if you take a drug and it causes a side effect that is not known you're supposed to report it if it's something grievous enough the drugs will be taken off the market we've heard about drugs that used to be given that are no longer available because they've been taken off the market so let me give you an example there's this drug called thalidomide that used to be very good for women that are pregnant and are having nausea and vomiting. They're always vomiting up and down. It was very, very effective. But after some years, they found out that uh -uh, these women that are taking this medication, a lot compared to the normal population, compared to every other person, they are children are having birth defects. So they found out it was actually that drug that was causing that thing. So they had to take it away from the market. Eventually, that thalidomide was now found to cure cancer and now it's used as anti-cancer medication but of course you cannot give it to a pregnant woman okay so now it's available but it cannot be given to a pregnant woman and this was a drug that was made to be given to pregnant women these things don't happen with our herbal medication there is absolutely no checks no balances nothing you just tell me that this drug can cure hypertension diabetes ulcer blah 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 and you expect me to believe it and accept it like that if it in this time and age come on okay so with these few points of mind i hope i have convinced and not confused <laughs> who did debate in primary school as a secondary school raise up your hand in the comment section okay so now let's go to supplements for supplements is a yes and a no let me explain what i mean with with less of the yes first eh? a lot of nigerians don't really eat well that's the truth okay a lot of nigerians don't eat well we eat uh, maybe you eat tea and bread in the morning uh rice in the afternoon gary in the night you get no you know eating well is not just that you're eating food and it's satisfying you eating well is that you're eating a balanced diet that means all the nutrients are there at the right amount where we usually lack is not carbohydrate and protein or fat. Where we usually lack is in the small, small minerals and vitamins. The people that manage to eat uh, vegetables, cook it and remove all... <laughs> all of us are guilty of this, including me. Remove all the vitamins and all the minerals that are affected by heat. We overcook it and we lack those things. So I don't have a problem when somebody walks in and says, okay, I'm taking these supplements. Because a lot of supplements, what they actually have is vitamins and minerals there's no problem with that i don't have any problem with that but what i have a problem with when it becomes a no is when you oversell a supplement and then you tell someone that these supplements will cure your diabetes or the supplements will cure your hypertension that's not true that's a lie is a lie <laughs> and the issue is that in nigeria we believe that expensive means effective and that's not true okay so you now see my patients walking into the clinic and maybe someone is diabetic or someone is hypertensive and then the person tells you that they started taking this supplement to that is supposed to cure their diabetes so they stopped their drugs and they are coming in with sugar that is 20 30. Normal, normal sugar is supposed to be between 3.5 to 5.6 so when someone is coming in with 20 you can understand how bad that is and why the person was told somewhere that this supplement, because it is 30,000 naira, is going to cure their diabetes. So the person dropped their drugs. That is when 
we have a quarrel. That is when the problem starts. Because now you've deceived my patient. What if my patient is taking their anti-diabetic, taking their anti-hypertensive, taking their drugs and decides to add supplements? Well, I don't have a problem with it. Okay? So, we don't have a problem with supplements. We only have a problem with people overselling supplements and saying that it can do more than it's it should be doing and that's lying and that's deceiving people and that is what we have a problem with so our problem is not the supplement really our problem is the deceit that comes with a lot of supplements so i've come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something remember to share it with your friends and your family and everybody you know and if you've not subscribed i beg now i beg now please now subscribe <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Remember to like this video. Remember to comment. I always love to see your comments. So remember to comment on this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.